State of the Union, from stabilizing Iraq to issues at home. We need to put aside partisan politics and get this problem solved. Can the President and Congress work together to achieve our goals? Britt Hume has the live coverage, then Hannity and Combs put it in perspective. And we continue now with former Clinton advisor Dick Morris. All right, you know, I, I guess what bothers me as I watch this very soft, let's have a discussion, let's have a dialogue. Right. I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. That's not the woman whose tape I have a lot of tape of. You know, I, it raises a question. Here's a woman that would send troops to go fight and then say that the mission they've been involved in is a mistake. Here's a woman who's already talking about bringing back Hillary Care, nationalized health care. Here's a woman who said, we're going to take things away from you on behalf of the common good, speaking to so-called wealthier people, you know, what does she really believe, Dick, I guess is the question. Well, Hillary, uh, you can ask that of Bill, what does he really believe? Uh, because he adjusts his opinions either to the national consensus or as facts change or as political realities change. Hillary appears to, but really doesn't. Uh, Hillary is a very sincerely dedicated and committed liberal. Uh, she's as close as we have in America to a European socialist. Uh, if she had her way, she would spend, instead of the low 30s as a percent of national income that goes to the government, the mid or high 40s. But she's going to try like and hide it. To get right? free health care, uh, free higher education, free daycare. And she, she really believes that. But what is fascinating about the, the, the affect she projects, Sean, is she's scared to death to let anyone see what she's really like. Uh, she has this kind of affect of, oh, chatty and friendly and come sit on the sofa beside me and make yourself comfy. And that's not her. Anyone who knows her knows it's not her. Bill Clinton is not afraid to be right. himself in public. She is. But, but I guess what I'm concerned about is I watched the, the sofa scene that we're seeing there right now, the announcement over the weekend, and you see somebody that really is shifting opinions because of poll numbers. And, and I guess basically the American people now going to be subjected to the biggest propaganda campaign, manipulation campaign uh, that we've ever seen. And, and can somebody really get away with faking it for two years? Yeah, well, Hillary has lived in a bubble. Uh, in the White House, you couldn't interview her unless you pre-scripted the questions. When she went on her book tour, she would do talk radio shows, and the hosts were told, you can't ask this, and Not you can't my ask show. this, and you can't ask He's that. He's never been on right. with me, Dick. But that's the point. She doesn't go on shows where you can't. The only shows she would go on are the ones where people agree to that in advance. And then when she ran for the Senate, she used the Secret Service to keep the press at bay. Uh, and she even announced on the Internet so nobody could ask her questions. Uh, and the press in New York handled her with kid gloves. The question is, will the national media ask her about tough questions? Like, what about the drug dealer in Minneapolis who her husband pardoned after he paid Hillary's brother $200,000 to arrange what the What about party? the FALN? Who was the top crack and cocaine dealer in Minneapolis. What, what about that? What about, where was she? She was silent after the FALN guys got the pardon. Let me ask you, that raises the question about Bill. There, there were recent articles and references both in the New York Post and the Washington Post about Bill Clinton. Um, Hillary insiders suggesting that they fear he's likely to, you know, be out there uh, being involved in infidelity. Is he a liability in that sense? Is that a problem for her? Is that going to be a worry for their campaign? Does a bird fly? Does a duck swim? Uh, <laughs> Besides, if you yeah. decided ahead of time, he's going to John be right, he'll be a liability. Besides, you've already prejudged it. By the way, I interviewed Hillary when I was a relatively unknown radio host, and she was first lady. No one had, there were no pre-questions, no preconditions. I've interviewed her a few right. times since. No preconditions, yeah, but, no pre-questions. Yeah, but Alan, you know that you know that 90 percent of the interviews were were under very strict ground rules. During her entire time as first lady, she had one press conference during the whole Whitewater period, the pink, famous Pink Room press conference. Well, I didn't notice it when uh, I interviewed her. She has lived in a bubble, and she's been able to control her publicity ever since the health care debacle. And now she's really not going to be able to do it. And it'll be very interesting to see what happens when the press really asks her tough questions and throws it at her. You know, when you she, talk you about... I can't say something nice about Hillary. I will now. She's the most disciplined, focused determined person I've ever met in my life. Uh, Bill is totally undisciplined. He's maddening to work for. Hillary is very focused and very disciplined.
but even so, you can't script a presidential campaign. You know, you could you do a film, do Dick, on anybody, realistic. and you could take their own words and use it against them. You could do it on George W. Bush, certainly, with all the things he said over the last six or seven years. So you can, in the editing room, you can make anybody look bad. And do you have a credibility problem? Given that last time you were on this show, you misrepresented Obama's position on ethics. Oh, yeah. You thank apologized, you which I, that. you did the right thing. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you for reminding me. I'd forgotten. Yeah, when I was on the show last time, I made a mistake. Uh, I said that Barack Obama voted against banning spouses from working for congressmen and senators on their campaign payroll. And, in fact, he voted the other way. He voted right. Hillary, by the way, voted wrong, and I gave her credit for voting right on the show. And I apologize to Senator Obama. That was a mistake, right. and uh, occasionally I make them. Given the polls in Iraq, given the unpopularity of this president, given the fact that there's a hunger for new leadership, we saw it this past November, isn't there a great desire to change faces, if not parties, in Washington? Isn't that really, at least as of this 